Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And it is Open Box Book Day. That's right, another book came in the mail. A brand new, never before seen book came in the mail for you and me. And I think, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it might be a llama llama book. I've been waiting for one. It's been so long since a new one came out. I think it might be. Are you ready for me to check? You want me to open it up? All right. I got all this tape. Look at that. All this tape I got to get off of here. Oh, there we go. And oh, I was right. It's a llama llama book. Uh-oh. It's called Llama Llama's Little Lie. No! Llama Llama's Little Lie. Does Llama tell a lie? Oh, I hope not. Lies are not good. It's not good to lie. Oh, let me see. Uh-oh. We have got to get into this book and find out. It's brand new. It's never, ever, ever been opened before. And we're going to open it together, get inside, and find out if Llama tells a lie. And if he does, what happens? Well, I hope he learns a lesson. Well, we have to get into this book and read it together. Are you ready to get into this brand new Llama Llama book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Llama Llama's Little Lie, written by Anna Dudney. Llama Llama inside fun. Mama working in the sun. Look, Llama and his friends are playing in the house and Mama's out there working in the garden. Slip and zoom upon the floor. Womp with pillows fun galore. Sprint up and slide down the stairs. Only when Mama is not there. I don't know if they're allowed to do that, but Mama's outside. Bounce on the couch, stack some books. Swing from lamps, hang from hooks. Uh-oh, I think they're playing a little wild for being inside. Fun and games in the hall. Llama, llama, throw the ball. Llama Llama makes the pass. I don't think you're supposed to throw a ball in the house. <clears throat> the bouncy ball hits the glass. Uh-oh, a giant crash. All at once a great big smash. <gasps> Mama Llama's favorite frame. Now in pieces, such a shame. Oh no, they broke Mama's favorite picture frame. Mama's picture, what should we do? Run away to Kalamazoo? When she finds out, she'll be mad. Mama will think this is really bad. Llama Llama, feeling sad. Uh-oh, they feel really bad about what happened. Mama Llama at the door. She sees the mess upon the floor. <gasps> my favorite frame I hold so dear. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Asks Mama. Llama fidgets and gazes down. He shifts his hooves and begins to frown. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Um, the door had opened. The wind blew through it. A gust of wind, a whistling sound, whooshed right in and knocked it down. <gasps> That's not the truth. No, wait, a wild dinosaur stomped in and knocked it to the floor. Uh-oh, Llama's telling lies. That was not a dinosaur. A rock, it fell out of the sky. Crash through the ceiling from way up high. Oh, Llama. No, don't lie to Mama. Llama, Llama, is that a lie? Just tell the truth and tell me why. There was no rock, no dinosaur, 
No gust of wind came through the door. Llama Llama starts to cry. It's true, it's true, I told a lie. I'm sorry, Mama, I broke the frame. It was just a silly game. I didn't mean to make a mess. It's time to tell the truth, I guess. Good job, Llama. You have to tell the truth. Mama Llama dries his eyes. No more stories, no more lies. Over his heart, he puts his hoof. It's my fault, and that's the truth. Good job, Llama. Llama, I'm so very proud of you. Being honest is hard to do. Okay, now here's what we'll do. We'll fix it up as good as new. They fit the pieces like a puzzle. A smile, a kiss, a fuzzy nuzzle. Oh, look. They're p gluing it back together. Mama can fix it now that Llama told the truth. Outside with the ball, both of you. Out trot, Llama, Nelly, and Mama too. Mama, Llama, your turn to pass. Mama winds up on the grass. A perfect shot. <gasps> but through the glass? Uh-oh, Mama broke the window. That's okay, says Llama. We'll fix this too. All we need's a little glue. <gasps> oh, everything turned out okay. Llama did tell a lie, but then his mom talked to him and he told the truth. Uh, well, he was not telling good lies, was he? Lying is not good. And did he really think his mom was going to believe that a dinosaur broke the frame? That silly little llama. Well, I'm glad he ended up telling his mom the truth because lies are not good. And you know what? There's no such thing as a little lie. A lie is a lie. And it's always a big deal. You don't want to lie. Llama learned that lesson. He learned that he just had to tell mom what really happened. It was an accident. He didn't mean to break the frame. It was an accident. But he should have told the truth because his mom would have understood. And then they fixed it together. So it turned out to be okay. It turned out to be okay because he told the truth. Oh, I hope you will remember that. You don't have to lie. You don't have to lie to your mom or your dad or your teacher or your grandma or your grandpa, you don't have to lie. If you make a mistake and something goes wrong, just tell them what happened. They love you way too much to be mad at you. They're going to understand. So always tell the truth. And remember, even when you think nobody's going to know it's a lie, God knows. God knows all the time. And lying is a sin. God doesn't like it. Your mom and dad don't like it. I don't like it. Your teacher doesn't like it. Remember, no lying. Let's pray about it, okay? Because it's something really important to God. So we're going to make it really important to us. Let's pray together. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and pray with Miss Dorothy. Dear God, thank you for my friends. And thank you that they keep coming back night after night. And thank you for this brand new book that taught us such an important lesson. A book that taught us that we should not lie. That lying is wrong. And that we should always be honest and tell the truth. Please help my friends to always be honest. Please help my friends to remember to tell the truth. And know that everyone is still going to love them. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my little llama, this was exciting. Open box book day is always a big day. But now it's time for my little llamas to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, remember, whatever happens, even if you break something, accidents happen. Tell the truth. And obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you.
Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.